I wanted to be as helpful as I could to the uh, viewers and to the process of being in a master class. Well, I didn't, as you know, write a concession speech because even though we had a lot of bumps <laughs> those last 10 days, uh, I, I still thought, you know, we could pull it out. So I worked on um, a speech that really was about my journey and had a, had a real emphasis on my mother's life and journey as a way of, you know, making it clear that yes, I would be the first woman president, but I, I like everybody, uh, stood on the shoulders and lived the lives uh, and the experiences of those who came before us. I dream of going up to her and sitting down next to her, taking her in my arms and saying, look at me, listen to me. You will survive. You will have a good family of your own and three children. And as hard as it might be to imagine, your daughter will grow up and become the president of the United States. Oh. Mm. Wow. Now that is yeah. powerful. <laughs> powerful. You made the same class. It See, powerful. She's not sad because she just wants to be president so badly and that she wants the, to treat the world so nicely and do such a great job. She's sad because she thought she deserved to be president, and there was nobody who's going to take that away from her because she had so much power. She's been first lady. She's been secretary of state. She's had the. It was her turn. In, it was her turn. She was in government since the seventies with Bill. She's laughed at rapists that got off. She's you know uh, made fun of Benghazi. She's fired Debbie Wasserman Schultz. She's yelled at um, Tulsi Gabbard. She's done all these things. She's got so much power. I should be president. Nobody's going to stand in my way. You heard her herself. The last 10 days, I still thought we were going to win so much that I didn't even need a concession speech. 99% chance of winning. Hillary, you lost. Like, let it go. You don't see Bill Clinton out here doing like this stuff. He knows he's crazy. He knows he's a criminal. Just just go into the, into the ether like Homer backing into the bushes. <laughs> it's never going to happen. People just didn't like you because you're a phony. They saw it. They read your email. Yeah. You hate, you hate the poor people in your country. You hate the regular person. She, and she's a literal political monster at this point. The Clintons are bad people. There's no getting around that. Absolutely. And you know, we can't, I think well, you mentioned Debbie Washerman Schultz and then uh, Donna Brazil was trying to help her cheat, but here's what's really happening. In my opinion, obviously is that this is the, cream of the crop victim card this is a completely corrupted uh you know powerful woman attempting to get another victim card 